So today we'll be doing the clean slate tag. So what's going on everybody? I am Charlotte Renee, author and creative entrepreneur, and I would like to welcome you back to my channel. Today we will be doing the clean slate tag. I was tagged to do this tag back on February 7th by Brooke over at By the Brook. Now, I know <laughs> that um, it's March, so it's pretty it's pretty late for a clean slate this is something that I probably should have done in January but I don't really care I was tagged so I'm finally getting my answers out there and then I will tag some folks um, at the end of this so I believe that there will be nine questions to this particular tag I will try to leave the questions in the description box below I will also leave um, Brooks video so that you guys can go check it out as well Question number one for the clean slate tag is which genres would you like to read more of in 2018? So I've already um, started the trend and I've been sticking to it for the most part, but I would like for 2018 to be a year of reading romances and I guess more like uh, magical realism. I don't really know what the genre is for that type of stuff, but I would like to read more books with magic systems as well as different romances. Oh, and anything with um, a historical fiction type of element to it. Question number two is, are there any books that you have read recently that have challenged your beliefs? And the answer to that is no. I am pretty headstrong um, and it's really not that easy for me to read something and just change what I think. Question number three is, who would you recommend for a booktube newbie to watch when getting started? Question number three is, who would you recommend for a booktube newbie to watch here on YouTube? If we're going to stick to the realm of reading, I would recommend Naya from Naya Reads and Smiles. Her videos are so, like, happy. <laughs> it's, like, so happy. Um, it's She's just so bubbly and free-spirited, and I think um, people could probably learn a lot um, based on the different types of styles of videos that she put together. And if we would um, be focused on author tube, then there's quite a few. I would recommend Mandy Lynn, Brooke over at By the Brook, um, Kristen Martin, of course, Jenna Moretti, Kim Chance, Natalia Lee, um, and the list can go on if we're going to recommend author tubers. Question number four is, do you have a bucket list of what you would like to read next? Yes. The first book on the bucket list is Keeper by Kim Chance, The Allegiant Prophecy by Vivian Reese, Eve the Awakening and The Savior's Champion, both by Jenna Moretti. I would like to read The Keeper's Vow by Francina Simone, Beyond the Red by Ava J, and I can't forget about Twisted Fate by author Jesse Elliott. Question number five is what has surprised you the most about booktube and that it exists. Like <laughs> I remember starting my YouTube channel back in like 2010 and booktube was not a thing at all. Now I kind of wish it had. Shit, I wish I would have started it. You can meet dead or alive one artist, author, or musician. Who would it be? Prince. And yes, I say Prince. The Diamonds and Pearl album and the entire Purple Rain movie has been a favorite of mine since I was like four years old. And I would love to have had the opportunity to meet Prince before he passed away. Question number seven is, if you had the chance to have your life in book form written by your favorite author or in movie form played by your favorite actor, who would it be? I would of course want my story told in book form but then played by Taraji P. Henson I mean like she is gay like all day so yeah that is my girl and if I could pick anybody to play me I would I would have to pick Taraji no we don't look alike but she's she she's my baby I love Taraji question number eight is what are some challenges that you've had to overcome with your YouTube channel and I think the two challenges that I've had to overcome with YouTube would be confidence and consistency. Um, and when I mention confidence, I don't mean 
confidence in the sense, oh, I want everybody to like me. I just mean confidence in the sense that um, I just have to be prepared and willing to get in front of the camera and not be so hard on myself about the videos that I'm putting out or the way I look or when my eyebrows are shaped or how my hair looks. Like, I just need to be able to build up the courage to get on camera. And in terms of consistency, I think that's kind of self-explanatory. Um, I like making videos. I like being on YouTube. I like interacting with the folks on YouTube. I just, I just have to overcome the hurdle of posting more videos regularly. Question number nine is, what advice would you give to a booktuber who is wanting to shut down their channel? I just say, don't shut it down. If you need to take a break, take a break. If you want, con if there's content out there that you don't want to be seen, pause it, put it on private, and then just make whatever changes you need to make without getting rid of the channel. We'll pick three people from the AuthorTube community to do this uh, to do this tag with me. Now, I don't know, at least I haven't seen a video of them doing this particular tag, so I hope that it won't be a repeat, but, um, but yeah. So the first person that I want to tag is Nicole Pierman. The second person that I want to tag for this challenge would be Holly over at Write Holly Davis. The last person that I would like to tag is Kara from Wild Book Garden. I can't wait to see what you all's answers will be. If you liked this tag and would like to do this tag, then I tag you to do it right along with us. So if you liked today's video, please do not forget to thumbs up, comment, and subscribe on your way out. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, stay creative, stay positive, and be bold. Bye!